now, Babs and Trixie clash over a sinister Hispanic relative in the eighth of our 12 visits to Acorn Antiques. It's a long time since I've seen a diamond engagement ring as expensive as that. <laughs> Not since Miss Babs got married. Why, this is her ring, Mrs O. Don't forget, we just found out that Miss Babs is my mother. Oh, why, of course. <laughs> but doesn't that mean you're engaged to your own brother? I suppose it does, yeah. Well, I'd better get off and clear Miss Babs' coffee cup. It's a new brand. Last lot tasted a bit odd, apparently. Hello, Mrs O. I thought I'd bring my own coffee cup down today. You know, it still tastes a little bit odd. <laughs> so a little bit odd. Oh, I don't know. Almost as if someone was trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you are an old silly Billy. Get back. Well, you see, I am a majority shareholder in the Antique since birth is amnesia. If I were to die, that would certainly suit Cousin Harris very well. But he's a well-known gambler and playboy. And anyway, he's in Marbella. Correction. Was in Marbella. Things are very quick nowadays. <laughs> or perhaps here in your world of antiques, you did not know this. I'll make some sherry, Miss Pabs. <laughs> and who is this charming young senorita? She's my daughter. And she's engaged. Not to engage, to come out dancing tonight, I hope. Uh, uh, Aren't you and Bobby going crown green bowling this evening? No, he's ripped his wrist. <laughs> yes, uh, I'd love to come out dancing. That's settled then. Oh, Mummy, could I borrow your long line bra? It's in my sideboard. Do you have any dance dresses that fasten with Velcro? <laughs> a blue one. Wear it. Oh. <laughs> that was a delicious five-course meal. Thank you. I had forgotten how good you were with food. I may feed your cousin, Hereth, but I don't like you. Let's cut the pleasantry, shall we? Just why do you want to buy my shares? You don't like antiques and you never have done. True. But I do like motorway service stations. What do you mean? Look out! Of the window! <laughs> There's some council workmen putting a sign up. I can't buy a new motorway to be built here starting the 25th. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Why haven't I had a letter? Why are you whistling like that? I knew that tune. It's the one our postman always whistles. Oh, I see. It wasn't a postman at all. It was you. <laughs> oh, I know, Miss Babs. It's a bit, a bit fractious. I promised I'd pop up and read them a bit of Simone de Beauvoir. Please do clear away, Mrs. L. In fact, you may as well clear away the hell, don't you? <laughs> Could you possibly fetch my briefcase, Mrs. Overall? I wish to show Miss Babs my theodolite. <laughs> 